So it's fairly easy to deal with somebody that just lays on their back and they, they fight from here. It's really easy to push the knees out of the way and go. Right? But it can get tricky when the guy starts to sit up. Because now that, that's much more offensive. Right? So if you step in, he's going to like spin under your legs and do all kinds of crazy stuff to you. So don't just lazily step forward on a guy like this. What you want to do is stay low and keep a hand active. So if he tries to scoot forward, you can pulse on his head, keep away. Right? And then you're going to start off basically the same way. I'm going to take a step out. And then instead of grabbing both knees, my one hand's going to go to his shoulder, one hand's going to go to the outside of his knee. Right? What I want to do is, person on bottom, make sure you keep your body tight. So when I push on his shoulders, his feet should come up a little bit. When his feet come up, he spins really easy. So take a step, hit him in the shoulder, see how his feet come up? Then you can easily spin him and land up his arms. But try to keep your hands in contact with him. So step out. On the shoulder, hand the outside of the knee. I'm going to drive with my hand from the shoulder to the mat. And I drop my lap right into his hip. Try to pin your elbow to the floor under his arm here. And then you can solidify the side mount. So a person sits up, take a little step back, step out to the side. You should land basically chest on his chest. You shouldn't end up like this and have to chase the person and jump on. Okay? You should land right down on him. Head and the chest. Personal mind, make sure that you keep your body tense. So if I push his upper body, his legs should move. All right? So again, start here, step out. Everybody got it? One, two, three. He sits up. So you don't have to do this from the feet, okay? You can, when somebody's down like this, it, it can help you to come down. If my knee's on the floor, it's really hard for him to get under me. When you're standing up, all your all the space underneath you is open, so sometimes it's good to come down. But you still want to keep the distance, so you keep a hand on the shoulder, hand on the head, or hand on the knees to keep him from scooting under you. Right? You're going to do basically the same thing for your knees. I'm going to go hand on the shoulder, hand on the outside of the knee. I'm going to push him back so his heels come up, and then I spin him. Make sure that your knee slides back and then come right in. All right, so the thing about doing it from the knees, you can do a few different uh, hand, hand positions. This hand is always going to be on the outside of the knee. This hand can go on the shoulder. Keep the knee back. Come in. You can put your hand on the hip. Like this. Use your head under the chin. See how I use my head now to push him so his heels come up and kick my leg back. Spin out of the way. You can club him on the neck. Bring him down. Okay. So when you do that, you see how far he spins. If you club him on the neck and you do this, drive your head right into his chest. Right? That should be able to stop him from spinning. If you stay up high, he'll do like a 360. Right? So we'll start on the knees. We'll try a shoulder outside of the knee. Get him to tilt back. Make sure that this knee kicks back. And shoots right under his butt. Then go hand on the hip. Use your head under his chin, head down him in the chest. And then you can do the club. Club his head down, or basically bring his head towards his knee, push his knee out of the way, put your head right to the center of his chest, and end up on the side. Okay, got it? One, two, three. 